Okay, so look, I know that this isn't uh, solar balls, and I know that my mom is going to be very mad when she finds out that I'm not doing homework right now, but I just got early access to Space Sim 0.5, and it is so sick, and I just want to show you guys that I'm super hyped up about it, so let's just get right into it. Alright, so we're in the simulation here. You can see it uh, right here. I'm probably going to be at the very corner of the screen, but you can see here that uh, we are on this, uh, and you can see a little tiny asteroid up here. Or I guess not really little tiny, it's 300 meters or about 900 feet wide, or as a radius. Um, and then we have this square. But what's super awesome is that Space Sim 0.5 now has uh, these fireball trails, which is so sick. Um, and we can go into here and look. Three, two, one, boom. And it actually has collisions, which is so sick. And what's even cooler is that this won't try to fold in on itself uh, because in this version, everything just falls. It, it all falls and um, it's not being pulled in by gravity, by its own gravity. I think that's how I'm supposed to explain it. Um, but this is so sick, so we can actually get cre uh, cratering now. So this is a liquid, yeah, this is a liquid here, and you can see the splash that this is making and the line against it. And then as the simulation progresses, all of this water will fall back down. We do have a little bit of a boundary here. But, um, yeah, look at that and now it's all going to start falling back down. What's really interesting too is that it also has atmospheric resistance. So hold on, let's just skip to when this one is done. Okay, so we're back just a few seconds later, about a minute later. You can see the ripple now, the smaller ripple, and then the actual big splash here. So this is a very early development. Um, I have exclusive access to it right now along with a couple other Patreons of Pavel uh, Svechik. I have no clue how to pronounce uh, his name. But, oh my word, I have been asking forever for this soon. Uh, and oh my word, it is finally here. And look at that, now you have a little bit of splashback in the middle of it. And this just opens it up to so many new uh, simulation possibilities that I am so absolutely excited for. It's gonna be so awesome. Look at that. All right, but back to what I was saying. Yeah, you can actually come over to here and we have a whole bunch of new physics. We have inertial forces, atmospheric drag. Uh, you can turn gravity off, which is awesome. Uh, boundary settings, I can't remember if this was in the last version or not. Uh, inertial forces, uh, atmospheric drag. Uh, then we have new histories, I believe. Yeah, um, state interpolation and uh, save data being minimal or full wasn't there before. And now back over to here, um, we had a couple new things. I can't remember what it is now. Oh, we have a uh, new field of views. That is actually really cool. I didn't notice that up until now. Um, and we have particles, uh, particle size and uh, surface smoothing. And oh my gosh. I cannot wait to just try all of this, and we're going to have to make a new video tomorrow about this. Okay, but uh, on to a little bit of more solar ball stuff. Uh, on Friday, uh, I am going to be posting a 24-hour live stream where everybody will get to chat about the Moon Revolution Part 4 uh, for 24 hours before it's released, so definitely want to uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, but thank you, Pavel, for giving me early access to this. I am so excited to uh, test this all out, and uh, see you guys later.